All right guys, how are we doing today? Today's video is how to secure and protect your website in 2022. Final web design, this is Steve. It's increasingly important. If you're not building your website in a secure manner, I can assure you within a few months, you will have some type of exploit, spam, have the website go down. I mean, it's happened countless number of times with different clients. So in this video, why don't we go over five tips to secure and protect your website in 2022. Let's start with number one and the most important that I don't understand why a lot of my clients and customers don't maintain and update their website platforms. You need to continue to update with new versions and new uh, code updates and such that are gonna allow you to maintain your website. There's a lot of technologies out there like browsers, the old Chrome, Firefox's, uh, Internet Explorers. Uh, there's even things like old Androids, old iPhones, tablets. I mean, all these different things that display your website and the technology that's being used. You need to continue to update your website. Otherwise, unfortunately, you're gonna find a point when it becomes exploited. And because of that, you're using a popular CMS platform such as a WordPress or as a Joomla, you're going to need to ensure that you're not going to be exploited because once somebody finds out about that information, it's out there and they're gonna go around and just target anybody who's on that technology. So continuing to update and maintain your website, very, very important. I don't know why more people don't consider this when they get done with a nice website, but I always do that. The second one is gonna be very similar, but that's any of the third party plugins, extensions, any of the uh, tools that you're using to integrate into your website, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that those are being maintained and updated um, if you're using from like a third-party company which in a lot of cases is overseas or might be um, outside of the you know the United States in our case you're gonna have to be sure that these are good reputable companies because if you go and take one of these extensions or plugins and plug it into your website you know there could be a lot of vulnerabilities a lot of these companies are are not really companies it might be a guy in his bedroom that built this extension so just do your due research and make sure that you're you're aware of what you're installing in your website. And then with that being said, make sure that you're maintaining and updating any of those third party plugins that you use within your website. Um, the third one I would say, and this has almost become a standard now in the internet world is to install an SSL certificate. Now most hosting providers will give you free SSL certificates. Anything that's using like e-commerce or transferring form data or payments or any of that type of stuff, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have an SSL certificate installed. In fact, most browsers like Chrome won't even run your website if you do not have that SSL installed because um, it's just securing both your site and uh, the customer on the other end. So that'll take us into our fourth topic, which is basically to install or have main, some type of third party maintenance software like a, a firewall or malware protector. Um, there's two big ones out there. SiteLock is very popular. They will run uh, scans on your website and predict or not predict, but tell you before that uh, either there's malicious software or files being installed on your computer, on your system, on your server, on your website. Um, and then you can take the appropriate action. If something does happen, there's also the ability that you can um, identify where those uh, issues arose from or what files happen. So install some type of site lock or word friends. They do have usually a monthly subscription, but I assure you that having that security is gonna be worth more than losing your website for several business days or whatever the situation may be internal or forever. But um, that'll bring me into my fifth, and this is just a very common, any type of computer type of uh, security tip, and that is to have secure passwords. Change your passwords, use different um, passwords for different outlets and things. Uh, with your business, you should always really keep everything kind of separate from your personal. So make sure that uh, you are using secure passwords that are not gonna be found or exploited by people using it. And I, I could almost put this as a sixth one, but I'm just gonna put this as an overall blanket of secure and protecting your website, is always have a backup. I cannot tell you how many people do not have backup. And the thing about a secure website is it is much easier to prepare beforehand and to take these steps to secure your website than to find yourself in a position where the website's been um, hacked or uh, destroyed or stolen. And then you're, you're in a lot of times people are really out of luck because there's nothing you can really do after the fact. You really need to take these measures preventatively so that um, you're in a position that if something happens, 
he, you're, you're protected. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video on five tips to secure and protect your website. If you need help with any of those services, that's what we're here for. That's what we do. Um, so please uh, like us, subscribe, uh, comment, anything. That stuff helps. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.